We also share a lot of information about cold sores or herpes 1. So it really doesn't matter which strain of the virus that you have or which strain of the virus that you're looking for more information on. You're only a few short clicks away. Now let me introduce myself. My name is Ed, and since 2010, helping people cope with and live a successful, happy life with herpes has been my main passion. This is where my website differs from most herpes websites. I don't simply flood your brain with medical scientific information that you can find anywhere on the web. This website offers meaningful information from my own personal perspective and my own personal experiences. You see, for nearly 20 years, I too have been living with genital herpes. And over the past two decades, I've experienced almost every physical symptom and emotional turmoil imaginable. I remember those painful and sometimes scary outbreaks. The ever-growing feelings of being alone in a world full of family and friends, but never really being able to talk to anybody about it, not even with my closest ones. It was a never-ending road to hell filled with a lot of suffering. But then one day, when I was at one of my lowest points in my life, I woke up and I really examined, and I mean I took a really close look at my life and my life with herpes. And I didn't like what I saw. That was it. That was my pity party was over at that time. So I knew that I needed to know more about the virus than what I already knew. So I go out and I search the internet and believe me, back in those days the internet was very young and search engines were were uh, not as sophisticated as they are today. I searched online forums, I went to Yahoo groups, I read everything I could get my hands on about genital herpes. I remember even going to doctor's office, not my doctor's office, because I wouldn't go there, I was too embarrassed. I went to other doctor's offices. I went to free clinics where nobody knew me. And I gathered up as much information as I could. You know what I found out? It was like a light clicked on when I started going through all this. A light that told me that, hey, herpes is not the dreaded virus that it's made out to be. It's the stigma that surrounds that virus that makes it so bad. But nevertheless... I started paying attention to what my body was telling me when I was experiencing those outbreaks. I started learning. I learned what triggered those outbreaks, and I learned to stay away from them. I learned what treatments work best for me and my lifestyle. I learned how to tell somebody that I was dating about having genital herpes and not worrying one iota about being rejected, and I never was ashamed from that point forward. And most importantly, I learned that I was not alone. I learned that I am one in 50 million other people in the United States that, are, that have some strain of this virus. And I, you know what? I look at each and every one of them as being a brother or sister to me because we all share a very intimate secret. And once you understand that the herpes simplex virus, whether it's herpes 1 or herpes 2, is merely an aggravating skin condition, then you too will truly see that a happy and successful life with herpes is within your grasp. But it's important that you take action to manage your herpes outbreak, to learn everything you can about the virus, because you do have the power. You have the power to change your life. You have the power within you to change the way you feel. You have the power to influence others. It's there for the taking, but you've got to take the action. Make a promise to yourself and to me right now. The pity party ends today. No more feeling sorry for yourself. No more feeling ashamed. No more being scared. Do not allow this aggravating skin condition to control your life any longer. Now reach out. Reach out, take my hand. And together we'll begin a new journey in a new direction. A journey of practical and positive growth. A journey down a path of a new life filled with happiness, joy, and success. Now, it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to lie to you. You will be challenged along the way. Shoot, even now, I still have my bad days. 
but I also have the self-confidence and the knowledge about the virus to let those days pass without damaging my inner core beliefs about myself. And you can too. If you commit yourself right now, commit yourself today. And one way to begin that journey is to sign up for my monthly newsletter. I'll keep you up to date on all the new articles and new information that I post on the website. I'll keep you up to date on any kind of worthy news about herpes. And a whole lot more. Sometimes I'll even throw in a fun contest that features some pretty cool prizes. Because, you know, it's not all about herpes. Because sometimes we all need a break from thinking about it. And for my appreciation for signing up for my monthly newsletter, I'll give you a free Living with Genital Herpes Guidebook. It is packed with nearly 30 pages of valuable information about herpes, various treatment options, and a complete analysis of the different testing options available today. And there's a whole lot more. Additionally, I encourage you to read other people's stories and to share your own on this website. The Herpes Stories section of the website is extremely valuable to everybody because writing about your personal story is also a great way of feeling good about yourself. Knowing that your words will help somebody is a powerful and it's a generous way of showing love and compassion, not only for yourself, but to others. Now, if you want to be among the courageous people who have graciously shared their stories, the process is easy, confidential, and it offers notification options so you'll know when someone else comments on your story. Simply look to the left of the website and you'll find it there. Now I'll end this video by saying that there is a lot of information on this site and it may seem overwhelming, but don't let that scare you. Don't let it intimidate you. Not anymore. Living a happy, happy successful life with herpes is a journey. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint and it's not a quick fix. So don't feel that you have to master all of it today. But you need to start today. Because knowledge is power. This website is providing you with the knowledge and the power. It's up to you to use it. Now can I ask you a small favor? If you found the information on this website to be helpful, please take some time to pay it forward by sharing it with others. The whole purpose of me building this website was to give people access to free information to help them fight the herpes simplex virus and shake the stigma. You can do this by simply clicking on the share this page buttons that are displayed at the bottom of most pages. You can also click on the Google Plus or, the, or you can even follow me on Twitter. By pointing others to this site, you'll be helping them too. Now go on. Stop the pity me party and let's begin our journey. Here's to your success and happiness. I'll see you on the other side. Herpes in the vast majority of people is a silent condition. But Susan Martin chooses to be open about her condition to help people better understand this common virus. About the only thing that people know about herpes is herpes is forever. One in five Americans has genital herpes. Susan contracted it 20 years ago from a sexual partner. I didn't know what it was. I actually went to the doctor with strep throat. Let's check your heart. Susan is lucky. She had symptoms. Nearly 85% of people who carry the virus don't even know they have it. There are a lot of people who have actually had herpes without ever having an outbreak of blisters without having any pain. Almost 70 percent of herpes cases are spread without any symptoms. A simple blood test can tell if you carry the virus. They have what we refer to as asymptomatic shedding of the virus. They don't have an outbreak that they realize, but the virus comes out. Antiviral medications can help manage the condition. They can be taken during an outbreak to heal symptoms faster or used every day to suppress the virus. When you use it in a suppressive nature, 
especially comes in handy for that couple that's trying to, to have a family and yet one partner has not been infected. Along with medication, the best advice for those with herpes is to practice safe sex, don't have sex during an outbreak, and tell your partner. No one has ever broken up with me because of it. No one has ever not wanted to see me because of it. Susan hopes by telling her story, others like her will be more honest and break the silence about this common condition. This is Dr. Dina Dell.